Welcome to PC Woods Kids Tech Talk. Today we're doing another interesting Windows 8 tip on using the hotkeys. You know, the key combinations, you hold down the Windows key and another key on the keyboard and it quickly accesses something. So for example, okay, let's start off. You're at the start screen and you want to minimize everything um, or whatever it is that you have open. The Windows key M will do that. In this case, it just minimizes the start screen and shows me the desktop. Um, but there's another key combination that will get you to the desktop easily, and that's the um, Windows key D, by the way. I'll show you that in a moment. Windows key E also here opens up the Explorer window, so that way you can um, access all your files and folders. Again, so if you're at the start screen, you want to access your desktop quickly, Windows key D, or press on the tile, obviously, it says desktop, but just so you know, okay, that key combination exists. Um, another one, if you have multiple programs open and running in the background, you could press the Windows key tab. That still exists. That still uh, runs there, so you can quickly get a list of uh, the running programs. I like the um, Windows key print screen okay, combination. That'll take a snapshot of your uh, screen, whatever you have. In this case, it's my desktop. I just took a snapshot of that. And it saves it. Let me just open up here the uh, Explorer window, and you can see here that it saved a screenshot of what I just took, my uh, my desktop, okay? So that's an interesting uh, hotkey key combination. Um, another one for you, the uh, Windows key Q, that does opens up a global search menu, okay? So that quickly accesses that here, Windows key Q. Um, there are other combinations for different types of searches, such as Windows key W, that opens up the search in the system settings. And um, there's also the Windows key F. That opens up the file and folder search, okay, as opposed to the settings. Okay, so Windows key F will get you there. Just to save you a couple of clicks, you know, if you instead of accessing the menu and clicking to find it, that's how you would do it. Um, the Windows key pause gets you to this um, system properties screen that I just showed you right here, okay? So you can see the specs of your machine. Windows key pause. Uh, what else can I tell you? I mean, there's there's all kinds that are not so important, like Windows key comma. That one kind of gets you to a transparent uh, window. It makes your, your screen kind of transparent in the background so you can see. So if you have multiple windows open and you, you want to see what's behind it, you can press the uh, Windows key comma. The um, magnifying and zooming in and zooming out, I'm not quite sure if you guys are interested in stuff like that, I mean, you know, or snapping uh, f to the left or to the right using the Windows key plus, um, the period key. I mean, it's up to you if, if you like that type of stuff. Um, but when it comes to important things, I like uh, accessing the run command, for example, quickly. So I'll press um, the Windows key R, for example, okay? Um, you know, making things transparent, not so important. Okay, this is this is an example here of the Windows key comma that I was telling you about. If you just hold down the Windows key and the comma, it makes your, your screen transparent. That's not, not as useful as um, pressing the Windows key R, which here it is. It shows you the run command, and, uh, you know, sometimes you want to access and run certain commands. Or even, actually, the Windows key X, that key combination opens up this quick access menu. This is really handy. It's got the file explorer, uh, the run command, uh, the right click, uh, you know, all, all of that stuff, the disk management, all of that stuff is, is available quickly down there on the bottom. And uh, again, that's the Windows key X, okay? So, so there you have it. I mean, there's a whole bunch of stuff. Windows key I opens up the, uh, the, the settings menu here on the right-hand side, so you can access your control panel, per personalization, power button, all that stuff. Let me know what you think, okay? Um, these are, again, common, easy to use, quick access, hotkey combinations in Windows 8. Some of them are still, you know, the same as before from previous versions of Windows, but then again, they still exist here in Windows 8. Comment below, and thank you for watching.